Hi guys, it's good to see you. For those of you who might not know me, I'm Teacher Katie or Miss Katie. And we are going to be making a really cute paper towel roll craft. This is one that I made. Kind of looks like my dad actually, because my dad has brown hair and I know his favorite color is blue. Let me hold it up underneath this camera so we can see a little bit closer. So there he is. What we're gonna be doing is painting the, like the body or kind of the outfit that your dad might wear and then painting the hair. You can also decide whether or not you want to paint the face. It might be easiest to just leave that part um, blank, like just keep it the paper towel roll so that later we can draw on our smile. And then the other things, um, that I used and I'll go through supplies too are if you have some googly eyes you can use those or I know there was a question about can I use um, white paper and black paper and just kind of make little circles that totally works too so if you don't have googly eyes no worries you can make your own eyes or you can even draw on the eyes that will also work and like I said we'll be adding a smile if you want to add a nose in there you're certainly welcome to and then to the outfit towards the end, we can glue on or tape on a little tie or a bow tie, or if you happen to have actual buttons, you can glue those on too. So lots of options for how you can make your dad's or your little guy's outfit. So I'll keep him over here just to reference, um, but I'll go through the materials I have and then we'll get started with the steps for how we get to make our our little dad or our little person. So you are going to need a toilet paper roll. Hopefully there's no um, toilet paper left on it. If you have a few little pieces, you can just kind of pick those off. If you have a, awesome, I see some of us have it right there with us. If you have a, um, a longer paper towel roll, you can cut off um, a smaller piece or you can use the whole thing, up to you. If you have some paint with you, that will be helpful. I have a couple colors to paint with me. Watercolor paints will work fine, but if you have like washable tempera or acrylic paint, that will probably work a bit better since it's a little bit thicker and it will show up better. For the face, you will need some googly eyes or you can make googly eyes and a black marker to draw in a smile or a nose. And... Oh, I forgot to mention, hopefully along with the paint, you have a paintbrush or two. If you are painting with us today, it might be a good idea to also have a cup of water, maybe some paper towel nearby. If you are going to be switching out um, your, your colors and you only have one paintbrush. And then if you are wanting to make a tie or a bow tie, I just have a couple different um, colors of construction paper with me and I will show you guys right on the camera how we can um, use our marker to draw a bow tie or a tie similar to the one if we want to make a tie I'll show how to do this shape and I'll show a bow tie shape if you want to add a little pizzazz to your paper roll dad's outfit so first up you can have your paper roll in front of you and you are going to pick the colors of paint for your dad's hair and your dad's main outfit. So this time for the one I'm showing you guys and doing with you guys, I'll use maybe yellow for some hair and maybe I'll make a red shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting those two parts. So I'm going to go about halfway on my roll and then just kind of start painting that area down from there all the way around and as you're painting it might be helpful to kind of hold it between your fingers like this and slowly turn it especially once we end up doing the hair we might have to hold it that way so that our fingers don't get a ton of paint on them but if you get a little messy that is always okay so decide on your paint colors and you can start painting the outfit. The thing is that once you make your first day and you all the steps, you want to make this paper roll done. If you have more for the rolls or on then you can always do one too. Or you just make another one too. I really want to make it turn out so cute. I'm excited to see what you come up with for today. 
to take your time to your painting, outfit, or if you are filling out with marker, it takes a little bit to get all the way around. Spots. Don't worry about getting a perfectly even line. It's tricky to make sure it's totally even all the way around. Just do your best and that will be great. Cool. I like it. All right. You can use your marker or find some paint that would match pretty closely to his hair color or blonde hair. And then I'm just gonna go around the top. But I'm gonna make sure that I leave a little bit of space in between the hair and the outfit so that I can fit in those googly eyes and the smile in a little bit so that I can fit those in. So once you've painted what you would like to for the hair and the outfit, you can just set your roll aside to dry. Make sure you set it upright. Here's how I would make a bow tie shape if you wanna follow along. Or once you're ready, I'll also leave it on the camera so you can see. For a bow tie, if you've ever seen a bow tie, kinda goes out. So you can go like this. And like this on one side and then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side that side's a little thicker there we go and if you want to make like a little circle in the middle you can do that too a blue marker and i'm just going to add some polka dots to it you could decorate it however you'd like to or whatever colors you'd like. So there's a bow tie. If you wanna make more of a longer tie shape, then I can show that one too. So you can decide whether you wanna do one or the other. For the tie shape, it starts off kind of like an upside down triangle, like that. And then we're gonna do a longer line down on one side. And then also a longer line down on the other side. So we're making it symmetrical, same on both sides. And then we just have to do another triangle towards the end. And just like with the bow tie, if you wanna decorate this tie, you can do that. Yeah, I'll add some triangles. So once you have those, or one of them, you really only need one, you can decide which one you want to use. You can cut out what you're going to use. Then once you're ready, you can take some of your glue and glue that on. I'm actually going to cut off kind of where I drew the outline so that I get rid of my black line a little bit before I add on my tie. You could always do buttons out of um, construction paper too, if you wanna just make some circles and then cut those out. When you're ready, you can glue that tie or that bow tie onto your paper roll. Whether or not you have um, googly eyes or if you're wanting to make some eyes, if you have googly eyes, just be super careful, they're so tiny and just add a teeny bit of glue to the back. And you can kind of take your paper roll and place them where you think they would be best. I think I'm gonna try drawing my smile. You could do a toothy smile. You could just do a little smiley. I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. There he is. When we make a mustache, it's like you're drawing curvy lines that go out. So you could draw something like this. Curve like that. And then same thing on the other side. And then just kind of go back in and back out. 
Oh, and Alex has his little cat. How cute, or kitten. A special visitor. So here again, here's what that mustache would look like up close. And I'll cut that out to show what it would look like on the paper roll. So if I was gonna add this mustache on, I think I'll just set it there for now, but I could put it like right there. I'll draw, or I'll make a little example of a note that you could write to your dad or to whoever you're giving this to, if you'd like some ideas. So if you wanna grab extra paper and make a note up to you, if you wanna do this part. But I might write something like, dear dad, With my note, I might say something like, Dear Dad, I hope you have a happy father's Thursday, or just I hope you have a great day. And then you could write, if you want to, you could write, I love you. And then your name or any little pictures you want to draw. So if you do make a note, let's see how this goes. You can kind of just curl it up. I just like that like you were going to put a little message in a bottle. And then you could pop it right in there. And it could even kind of... So we'll finish up in about, about five minutes. So yep, you can trace the bottom of your roll to get that circle that will fit. And then you can cut it out and it might work to glue it, but it might also work or stay better if you just kind of tape it. I'm just going to put like tape on the side and then on the edge, or over the edge, it's on the bottom and over the edge. And if you are giving this to your dad or someone on Sunday, you can keep it maybe in a special spot so that they won't see it if you want it to be a surprise. But just remember where you put it for when you give it to them <laughs> or when it's time to give it to them.